हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द लास्ट टू आर्टिकल्स ऑफ यूनिट टू सो द सेकेंड लास्ट आर्टिकल इज यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जन एंड डिफ्रेंशिएशन एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द थियोरम इज लेट एफ एन बी अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ फंक्शन डिफ्रेंशिएबल ऑन इंटरवल ए बी सच दैट द सीक्वेंस एफ एन ऑफ एक्स जीरो कन्वर्जेस फॉर सम पॉइंट एक्स जीरो बिलोंग्स टू ए बी इफ द सीक्वेंस ऑफ डेरेवेटिव दैट इज एफ एन डैश ऑफ एक्स कन्वर्जेस यूनिफॉर्मली ऑन इंटरवल ए बी देन वी हैव टू प्रूव टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट दैट इज सीक्वेंस एफ एन कन्वर्जेस यूनिफॉर्मली ऑन इंटरवल ए बी टू अ फंक्शन एफ एंड सेकेंड एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू लिमिट एंड टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी एफ एन डैश ऑफ एक्स फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए बी सो हियर फर्स्टली इट इज गिवन दैट एफ एन इज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ डिफ्रेंशिएबल फंक्शन then fn of x0 converges for some point x0 belongs to ab and also the sequence of derivatives fn dash of x converges uniformly on the interval ab so let's start with the proof so as given we have fn the sequence fn of x0 converges for some converges for some x0 belongs to the interval ab so therefore by cauchy criteria by cauchy criteria for given epsilon greater than 0 there exist a positive integer say n1 such that m n greater than capital n1 implies fm of x0 minus fn of x0 is less than epsilon by 2 we give it as number 1 and for x0 belongs to the interval ab now also it is given that fn dash of uh, x the sequence fn dash of x also converges uniformly so as also sequence fn dash converges uniformly on interval ab therefore here also by cauchy criteria uh we have for given epsilon for given epsilon greater than 0 there exist a positive integer say n2 such that m n greater than n2 implies that mod of fm dash of t minus fn dash of t is less than epsilon upon twice of b minus a for t belongs to the interval ab we give it as number 2 now we choose uh, n we choose n equals to max of n1 n n2 now since sequence fn that is fn is a sequence of differentiable functions on interval ab this implies that each fn is a differentiable is differentiable on interval ab so by fundamental theorem of uh, calculus we know that every differentiable function is continuous so each fn is continuous on interval ab now we define a function 
से कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स विच इज इक्वल्स टू एफ एम ऑफ एक्स माइनस एफ एन ऑफ एक्स लिव इट एज नंबर थ्री वेर एफ एम ऑफ एक्स एंड एफ एन ऑफ एक्स आर डिफ्रेंशियबल ऑन इंटरवल ए बी so this implies that uh, this function capital f of x is also differentiable on the interval ab so uh, therefore uh, by uh, lagrange mean value theorem we know lagrange mean value theorem is If a function f is defined on interval a b, if a function f is defined on a b and it satisfies that uh, this function is continuous on interval a b, also it is differentiable. then uh, there exist at least one real number c which belongs to the interval ab such that f dash of c is equals to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a so using this uh, lagrange theorem uh, here by by lagrange mean value theorem to the function f on interval say tx which is subset of the interval ab such that a is less than t which is a is less than or equals to t which is less than or equals to x which is again less than or equals to b so as we have the function capital f of x uh, which is differentiable on the interval ab as well as continuous so therefore by lagrange mean value theorem there exist a point c belongs to the interval tx such that f dash capital f dash of c is equals to capital f of x minus capital f of t upon x minus t now this implies f of x minus f of t equals to x minus t f dash of c now since uh, f of uh, we have defined f of x as f m of x minus f n of x so therefore f of x is f m of x minus f n of x minus f of t will be f m of t minus f n of t which is equals to x minus t and f dash of c will be f m dash of c minus f n dash of c so taking mod on both sides we have mod of fm of x minus fn of x minus fm of t plus fn of t mod complete is equals to mod of x minus t mod of fm dash of c minus fn dash of c so now as a um, we have this fm dash of x minus fn dash of x is less than epsilon upon twice b minus uh, a by second so mod of x minus t and uh, this is less than epsilon upon twice b minus a give it as 4 and this we have written by second 
Now since A is less than T which is less than X which is less than B. So this implies that X minus T is less than B minus A. So therefore mod of X minus T is less than mod of B minus A which is again less than or equals to B minus A. So here uh, this mod of X minus T can be written as uh, less than B minus A. So therefore mod of Fm of X minus Fn of X minus Fm of T plus Fn of T mod complete which will be less than this x minus t will be less than b minus a and this will be as it is epsilon upon twice b minus a. These two terms will get cancelled and finally we get that this mod fm of x minus fn of x minus fm of t plus fn of t less than epsilon by 2. Number it as 5. Next we consider mod of fm of x minus fn of x equals to fm of x minus fn of x adding and subtracting fm of x0 and also adding and subtracting fn of x0. Now arranging the terms and separating the mod, we get fm of x minus fn of x minus fm of x0 plus fn of x0 mod complete plus mod of fm of x0 minus fn of x0. So by 5, this whole term is less than epsilon by 2. And by 1, this term is less than epsilon by 2. By 1 and 5. So, which is less than epsilon. Therefore, we get mod of fm of x minus fn of x is less than epsilon for x belongs to the interval ab. This implies that the sequence fn of x satisfies Cauchy criteria. So therefore the sequence fm converges uniformly on interval ab and we assume that this converges uniformly uh, to a function uh, f. Assume that sequence fm converges to f uniformly on the interval ab so this we can write as limit and tends to infinity fn of x is equals to f of x for x belongs to the interval ab and we number it as 6 so here the first part of the theorem is proved. Now next we have to prove that limit n tends to infinity fn dash of x is equals to f dash of x for x belongs to interval ab. So to prove this so to uh, prove this, uh, let x be a fixed point of uh, interval AB. So let x be and here we define phi n of uh, phi n of t which is equals to fn of t minus fn of x upon t minus x and phi of t is equals to f of t minus f of x upon t minus x 
for t belongs to the interval a b and t not equals to x we number it as 7 now taking a limit uh, t tends to, t tends to x for this function so limit t tends to x phi n of t is limit t tends to x fn of t minus fn of x upon t minus x so by definition of uh, differentiability this whole terms become f dash of x fn dash of x we number it as 8 now consider phi m of t minus phi n of t so we know that phi m of t will be f m of t minus f m of x upon t minus x minus and phi n of t will be f n of t minus f n of x upon t minus x mod completed so taking uh, 1 upon mod t minus x uh, common so which is equals to 1 upon uh, mod t minus x and in bracket f m of t minus f m of x minus f n of t plus f n of x now since uh, by 4 this whole term is uh, less than this whole term is uh, less than mod of x minus t epsilon upon twice b minus a from this fm of mod of fm of x minus fn of x minus fm of t plus fn of t is less than mod of x minus t epsilon twice b minus a so from this we have written here uh, this whole uh, mod term which is less than mod of x minus t uh, multiplied by epsilon upon twice b minus a so this two term will get cancelled and phi, of, phi m of uh, mod of phi m of t minus phi n of t will be less than epsilon upon twice b minus a so therefore mod of phi m of t minus phi n of t which is less than epsilon upon twice b minus a which is again less than epsilon for t belongs to the interval a b so this implies that the sequence phi n of t converges uniformly on the interval a b So therefore we can rewrite it as limit n tends to infinity phi n of t which is equals to limit n tends to infinity since phi n of t is f n of t minus f n of x upon t minus x. So this will be limit n tends to infinity f n of t minus limit n tends to infinity f n of x upon t minus x which will be again uh, equals to since limit n tends to infinity f n of t is f of t from the first part and limit n tends to infinity f n of x will be f of x and upon t minus x will be as it is and this is phi of t so therefore limit n tends to infinity phi n of t is equals to phi of t now limit t tends to x in bracket limit n tends to infinity phi n of t is equals to limit t tends to x and phi of t is f of t minus f of x upon t minus x and by definition of differentiability this will be f dash of x so limit t tends to x limit n tends to infinity phi n of t is equals to f dash of x we number it as 9 now since phi n so phi n of t 
converges uniformly so therefore limit n tends to infinity limit t tends to x phi n of t is equals to f dash of x and uh, we know that limit t tends to x phi n of t is uh, f n dash of x by 8 and hence uh, the required part is uh, obtained which is limit n tends to infinity f n dash of x is equals to f dash of x this is equals to phi n dash of x by 8 and hence here the theorem is proved now next we move on to the last article of this unit which is Weierstrass approximation uh, theorem we will see one uh, the statement of that uh, theorem and uh, one example concerning it so the statement for Weierstrass approximation theorem uh, which is also called as stone Weierstrass theorem is if f is a real continuous function defined on a closed interval a b then there exists a sequence of real polynomials say pn of uh, x which converges uniformly to uh, f of x on the interval a b here for uh, here f is a real continuous function and for this real continuous function on uh, which is defined on interval a b there exists a, a sequence of polynomials say p n of x which converges to a function uh, f of x uniformly and we can rewrite it as a uh, limit n tends to infinity p n of x which is equals to f of x and this uh, converges uniformly on the interval uh, a b now uh, we will see one uh, example concerning this uh, theorem and uh, we will end our second unit here so this is the example on uh, weierstrass um, approximation theorem uh, in this example we have to show that for uh, every interval that is close uh, close interval minus a to a there is a sequence of real polynomials uh, pn of 0 equals to 0 and limit n tends to infinity pn of x is equals to uh, mod of x uniformly on minus a to a so proof or we can say solution uh, here we denote this mod x uh, equals to f of x so denote f of x equals to mod x for every x belongs to the close interval minus a to a now this uh, f of x uh, is real function uh, it is a real function f is continuous on the close interval a b this real function f is continuous on the close interval minus a to a so uh, by um, Weierstrass approximation theorem or we can say stone Weierstrass theorem we will use here by Weierstrass approximation theorem we can find a, a sequence uh, say qn here we can find a sequence say qn of real polynomials which converges to f of x and here we have denoted f of x is equals to mod of x uniformly on the interval minus a to a here by Weierstrass approximation theorem we can find a sequence uh, qn uh, of real polynomial which converges to f of x uh, uniformly on this interval so therefore limit n tends to infinity qn of x is equals to mod x and also limit n tends to infinity qn of 0 is equals to mod 0 which is 0 
now we define the polynomial uh, pn of x as define pn of x equals to qn of x minus qn of 0 for n equals to 1 2 up to so on so this implies that pn of 0 will be qn of 0 minus again qn of 0 which is equals to 0 so we get pn of 0 equals to 0 now limit n tends to infinity pn of x is equals to limit n tends to infinity pn of x is qn of x minus qn of 0 so separating the limit limit n tends to infinity qn of x minus limit n tends to infinity qn of 0 so limit n tends to infinity qn of x is uh, mod x and this limit n tends to infinity qn of 0 is 0 so mod x minus 0 which is equals to mod x so therefore we get limit n tends to infinity pn of x is equals to mod x and hence proved so here we complete the second unit of uh, the paper real analysis in next video we will start with unit 3 thank you